All right, today is the big day where we're getting power inside the dome. We're finally connecting up those solar panels we built two months ago with the help of Sun Gold Power for converting the energy of the sun with their inverter charge controller and battery system so the dome can finally be off grid. Yeah, so we're going to put up our, uh, our wood panel that we're gonna mount all the equipment to. And then we've got the um, lines from the solar panels here. We'll run that over to the panel and then get the batteries put in. This is where the uh, solar panel uh, lines will come in. Um, I've got some uh, three quarter inch conduit here and that'll come fit right into here. We ran like two inch conduit all the way from the solar panels to make it real easy to pull that line through, right? We had a few bends that we had to negotiate when we were coming through. And so now we'll have to step that down uh, to the three quarter inch. So I've got another one of these. This gets mounted on the top. Um, and I, did, I got it without the U-bend so we can, we can see the wire, we can help uh, fish it through the rest of the way. Um, but basically we've got a bunch of adapters to push it down to three quarter inch. Uh, and then that goes on top like that. So we'll just put a little piece of conduit in between. And then that way it makes a 90 degree like that. And then we'll go right over to the, the panel there, so. All right, we got our base done. Now it's time to take the goods out of the box. <laughs> All right. This is the inverter charge controller. Working with Sun Gold Power here. Try out their model. Whoa, hung up just like that. That was pretty easy. Now it's the time to attach the wires to the back. All right, conduit connected. Now what it's time for. This one is the battery in, right. in there. And then this one is the solar coming into there. Okay. So we have a breaker for the solar. So this is gonna come up into the breaker and then from the breaker into there. So we're gonna... Now you need two short pieces to connect the breaker to the box. Yeah. Since those breakers and switches are sort of next to the pond, um, what was your solution for yeah, so we, covering them. Right, so we don't want to be able to, I mean, you want these, you don't want these exposed, right? So. Oh, covering up the connections? Yeah, because if you touch that, you're dead. Okay, so, all right. So I made covers to go over the top of them. Oh, so, custom made covers, very custom nice. Custom made covers, so that goes, there's a little piece of conduit there. So that goes over there like that. Okay. So I made some custom clips here too, so that'll get screwed on there, and then the, the wire just comes down through the all this right. conduit into the into the battery box that I made. Okay. So. All right. So we've got the breakers connected, the conduit run. Now it's time to connect the batteries. Connect all the batteries, right. and then we can connect electrical outlet. 
And then what about where you're putting the batteries? You um, made a special cabinet for that? Right, so again, I don't want the wiring exposed. And so I wanted some protection, but I also wanted some airflow. So I made this custom cabinet uh, with some hinges on it. So I'll just put a screw in here to hold that. Okay. And then I've got a separate side here. So this just screws on so you can easily take it off if you need to access okay. um, to put the batteries in because the batteries slide in from this end. Okay. And so that'll be on there like that. So it'll be all completely closed up. Nice. It matches all that. Yeah, nice and stylish. So all right, well, let's uh, talk about the batteries then. So there's two shelves, one for each battery. Right. And so all right. just get wired in parallel and then those wires will come up into here. Okay. And then into there. All right. There's your, again, that's your um, solar um, charging coming from outside that comes in into here, goes through this solar breaker and then into the panel. We're charging the batteries, the power's going that way when we're using them, it's coming out that way and then okay. it comes out through there. All right. So it's a fairly simple setup. All right. So. Well, let's, uh, let's go over, what, let's look at the battery up close here. Okay. Right, so 24 volts and then 48 or 100 amp hour batteries. So we'll have two of these, so mm -hmm. 200 amp hours. And what should that be able to power for us? Cause I mean. So, so that's a 3000 watt inverter. So we should be able to power our gat fan lights and then the um, pond pump. Pond pump so and maybe just even like a circulation fan. We'll, we'll have to kind of test the waters, so to speak. Okay. <laughs> and, and see how much power we're drawing. But the gat fan doesn't use much power at all. Uh -huh. It's like in the neighborhood of 50 to 60 watts. So we'll have lights, we're gonna have lights almost in a circle up there. Um, and those are all, you know, LEDs don't use much power right. at all, so. We should be, and we're not going to be using them. We're not having them on all night, right? So we come in here, hang out for a couple hours. We turn them off. So we're not going to mm -hmm. be using much power for that. And these are pretty heavy. You're not going to have to take these in and out every day, right? Once they're kind of in the... No, once they're in there, they're in there. Okay. So right. we've got a nice, this, you know, probably a plastic PVC mm -hmm. containment. So again, in the greenhouse, it's watertight. So I can pull them out to get them wired up. Okay. So they're in parallel, so black to black red to red and then they come up to here okay and then i left a little hole in the bottom there so the wiring is connected well we'll just leave enough slack so you can pull one out at a time if you need to disconnect them or something okay because so. the terminals are on the top so brian mentioned the gat fan that's this fan that goes underground um, it's circulating air from deep underground so right now it's 79 degrees in here it's pulling that hot air underground when it gets really cold at night we run the fan so that warmer air gets circulated or the warmer ground can circulate colder air but right now the cord is running outside up an extension cord all the way up to the house that is not ideal and it's freezing outside it's 20 degrees today uh, you can see all the snow we have um, this is not ideal. We need to get rid of this. We need to get rid of this. We need our cords to be in-house. And that's what this whole off-grid setup is going to let us do. All right, Brian, you got to break it all down. How does this all work? So this is those two things. So it's a charge controller and the inverter. So 3000 watt inverter. Hmm. So we've got our main disconnect to the batteries here. So we're, we can turn off the power coming out or going in. These are our, this is our circuit breaker to the solar panels themselves. So the solar panel wires come directly into here and then they're going up into the, uh, the charge controller there. So uh, and then that works its magic. So here are our outlets. There's something else you can do with this as well. And you can bring AC power from somewhere. So from your house. Okay. So if we wanted to wire directly into the house, we can power in here. So you can have the system set up to char. If there's, let's say it's been completely cloudy for three days, it will keep, it will charge the batteries with the AC power. Oh, okay. Okay, so we don't have that set up now. We're using totally the solar panel. So I've reprogrammed it to select charging from solar only. 
Okay. So it, it can it can preferen preferentially select where it's charging the batteries from. So if you've got AC power, it can it'll pull it can pull AC. If you've got full sun, then it'll pull it'll use the solar. Okay. So but so since we're strictly solar, then we are pulling only from the solar panels, and so I, that's why it's I've selected it here on the in the programming section. So you can see that. That little symbol indicates the uh, solar panel, okay. uh, and then it's charging the battery there. And then there's our AC output. We're not we're not drawing any power yet. Um, okay. So that would be output from the battery. So if we plug in something, so we've got a our fountain there. Yeah, our little pond fountain. Our fish are like, hey, give us a little <sighs> bit of aeration here. Yeah. So here we plug it in, and there it goes. Come All on. right. So, well, a long extension cord down here, but plugging directly into the outlet that is connected to the inverter. So let me see on the back side here. Yep. Oh yeah, the white the white wire. Yeah. And that's kind of coming back in. It comes in here. Here. We've got our main ground line attached here. Okay. And then that goes outside to a uh, a ground rod. Oh yeah, ground rod outside. Yep. So now what else can you down. scroll through? What does this all mean? So we've got temperature, looks like PV temperature. So there we go, output kilowatts. So we're using 0.3. It'll tell us that a kilowatt input here somewhere. There it is. So we're, right now we're getting 0.29 kilowatts from the solar panels. Okay. So it's 290 watts. So oh, and okay. it's late in the day. And so we're, we're getting, and it's, it's partially cloudy, so right. we've got some high clouds up there. So okay. the, the solar panels here, the sun's coming on an angle like this, right. like that. So it's, we're not getting a lot of coverage. So okay. it was completely cloudy for most of the morning. So yeah. um, we didn't get any of the, the good sun. All right. We're going to plug in. The, main, the other main item we want is to run is the GAT fan. Okay. And now GAT so, fan is over here. Right, so. And there's a extension cord that goes outside because yeah. we're running it from the house. We got to get right. rid of this. We could just run the cord up yeah. over and then have an extension cord just go directly over there. Now, right. eventually we'll, we'll run some conduit um, and then maybe have an outlet right here to plug it into. Okay. And so once we figure out how much power we actually are able to get off the panels, how much power it takes to run the pump and the fan continuously. If we have reserve power, I'd love to be able to run a grow light because I've got some things I planted about six weeks ago and they're about the same size they were three weeks ago. So they're not really growing much. Uh, everything needs a lot more light. So let's see what it looks like plugging in the grow light. It's a pretty powerful LED grow light and uh, See, <laughs> these are the kind of things we're going to be figuring out as we get more familiar with the system. So we definitely have options with this setup. I mean, this is sort of our base model, but it's definitely expandable right. if we wanted to add more batteries. Yeah. Um, if we found out that we needed a lot more power, if we wanted to do tons of growing and we needed 10 times the grow lights, uh, that's something that we can look at in the future. Besides the easy stuff that we're planning to power, what else could you use this for? So this would be a good setup for our shed, right? So I do a lot of work out there. I currently use a 2000 watt battery bank, um, which is one of those self-contained units, but this is 3000 watt setup, would easily run your table saw, your drill press, chop saw. Those are all the things I use. And then uh, grinders and we could have this set up on our, our shed, put another set of solar panels out there Mm -hmm. and that completely off-grid as well. Okay. So. Off-grid shed, yeah, off-grid off workshop. Off-grid workshop, yeah. <laughs> it's small, compact, it can easily power that kind of a, a setup. Yeah. And we are gonna keep you guys posted on how well it's operating with all of our needs as far as running the fans, the pumps, additional tools, lighting. Uh, that's all stuff that we're gonna be connecting as soon as our system is 100% uh, charged up. If you want to check it out, we'll have some links in the video description. They have definitely have great deals and packages, good pricing for systems like this. This is um, a 3000 watt system. They have all the way up to 15,000 watts to do your home. Yeah, so you can, and they have uh, rack style batteries that are completely electronic. So you can just 
stack one battery after the other to grow your system. Mm. So those, okay. are, those are really neat. I would do something like that on the house. Okay. When we expand our house, add the garage, um, that we'll have a lot of roof space where we could get sun from. Mm. And so that might be uh, an option for us down the road. Cute little system here, guys. Sun Gold Power, thanks a lot for the opportunity to showcase the product and give it a try. And definitely follow along to see how we're doing with it. We can get rid of all these extension cords to the house. That would be a plus. See you next time, guys. Take care. All right, bye-bye.